before I start this video, I just want to say my boy Bam has been going crazy. And here comes Middleton. Middleton driving with Ellington. Bam! Caught it! <laughs> he caught it! If you're a Bucks fan, I'm so sorry. We had to do that to you, what, four times, three times? However many times it was, we've been whooping you guys up. Anyways, for those of you guys who see the comments right here, if you're new, pretty much all you have to do is comment on the video and you might get selected to be in these comments right here. Now, if you guys haven't seen my past two videos, they have been wish list videos or ideas that I think the 2K should add into them. And today I have another one for you guys. I was just thinking about this and I thought, 2K has a lot of badges and I like most of them, but I think they should add a couple more badges that would change the game. Now, the first badge that I was thinking about I was just thinking about how LeBron got dogged in the finals, you know, um, by Kevin Durant. And I just thought to myself, this is a go-to move for KD, but yet I have KD or a KD type build in 2K. And I really couldn't do that move because you don't really get rewarded for shooting off the dribble in 2K. I mean, you could have uh, difficult shots, but it's not really gonna go in like that unless you're like a pure shot creator. So I figured, what if they did a badge for transition scoring? Because think about it. It's not like KD just randomly does that. I mean, sometimes he does, but usually he's coming downhill and he hits you with a triple threat and shoots it. Now, I think that that should be a badge in 2K because I definitely would try to do it all the time. It never works for me. I don't know about you guys, but it never really works. So if they made that a badge, that'd be pretty cool. For people who master it, that'd be a pretty deadly move. If you guys see the ambulance, that's my fault. They're trying to get Chris Middleton. They still haven't found him yet from what Bam did to him. That's crazy. And then that same move made me think, what about people who are trailers, like kind of like Channing Fry, or people who pretty much just kind of get lost in transition and they throw it back to them and they hit a three. I think that should be a badge too, because for stretch bigs, I think that would be a crazy nice badge to have because they trail a lot. Then, you know, it's just kind of, slipped my mind the D-Wade joined the Heat. So then I thought, what about this move right here that D-Wade uses all the time? I think they should have a badge for that, but not only that one, see? I think they should have it for that move, but also James Harden when he does pretty much the same thing, but he just blows by him. So here's two examples of a pump fake absolutely destroying somebody. Now, if they added a badge for that, you know how crazy that'd be? Imagine having the badge of Amethyst, you pump fake somebody and it actually destroys them like it should. In 2K, when people jump, it somehow glitches them in front of you so you can't move past them anyways. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. It'd be cool if they actually, you know, we all hate 2K animations, but it'd be cool if they actually made the player actually get thrown in the air and then you can jump into them, which they used to have, they take it out, or the player absolutely gets, you know, smashed like how James Harden does to people and pretty much runs by them. Then and also thinking of James Harden, I mean, he did it to us a couple times in uh, the Heat game that I was at. Yeah, I was at a Heat game, um, Heat Rockets, and James Harden had 41 on our team. But that's besides the point. James Harden and D-Wade both love to step back, so I thought to myself, what about a badge for that? Step backs usually don't go in for me and 2K. I don't know about you guys, but for me, they don't usually go in. And I looked, I didn't see a badge that's really for step backs. They have it in the post for drop backs, but... Um, not step back, so I think they should add that to the game as well. When you step when you step back, usually you don't get too much separation or they still close out. If you're if you have this badge, then it should make it so you get the space you need to hit the shot or it kind of throws off the defender. Imagine somebody having the pump fake, the step back, and the transition. Jones is the best in the business. And on the shot clock for Steps back. Oh, he turned him around! And his camera said, what a way, where did he go? And also, 2K took out Highlight Reel. Not sure why they did that, but I think they should bring it back because um, I like that badge. Back in the day, if you guys don't know what Highlight Reel was, it pretty much is, it's for the people that would always try to do the most flashy dunks. And I know a lot of people don't like, you know, um, when they do a flashy dunk and then end up getting blocked or whatever the case is. But, I mean, I think they should bring the badge back and you should still be able to save dunk because, you know, we can save dunk now. But if you pull back, your guy is a disgusting dunk. Dunk on people, whatever the case is. They should definitely add that back. And also, 
this year in 2K, if you got your guy to an 85 or 80 or something like that, they would automatically give you a badge that made you play better in with the last two minutes. Shouldn't do that. Shouldn't be automatic. It should be there should be a clutch badge. You should be able to upgrade it. So if you want to be Kobe type clutch, if you want to be MJ type clutch, you gotta get an amethyst. If you want to be LeBron type clutch, you need to keep it. Actually, you might as well not even have it at all. Okay, all right, all right, LeBron fans, don't attack me, don't attack me, all right, all right. And I also thought of some personality badges. Like, for example, let's say that the Warriors are playing the Thunder, Draymond gets an N1, and he starts flexing. What do you think that's going to do to Russell Westbrook? Probably going to fire him up more. I mean, Russell Westbrook is like a nutcase, but, you know, if somebody celebrates against him, it probably fires him up more. I think there should be a two-sided badge. That one, when you celebrate, it makes your teammates play better and, and the crowd gets behind you. But if the other team celebrates on you, it, it also makes you guys play better. So it's pretty much like in the actual NBA, when people get celebrated on, they usually tend to get mad and they come back, hit a three in their face. That's how shootouts start. That one's a little shaky, but I think that that one would be a pretty cool badge to have. Somebody If somebody hits a shot on me, celebrates, then my player comes down, hits a shot on them. It'd be pretty cool. And then the last one, this is also a personality badge. I think there should be a heart and soul type badge. Kind of like Draymond. You know, you see how when Draymond's not playing, the Warriors somehow play really bad. Even though, you know, Draymond only averages like 7 points. That's because he's like the heart and soul of the team. He fires them up. If he makes 1-3, the crowd goes crazy. Like that. I think that there should be a badge like that as well that also elevates your team. And those are pretty much all the badges I have. If you guys have any badge ideas, put them in the comments. I like reading badge ideas because they're pretty cool to see what you guys come up with. Those are a couple badges I came up with. I want to read your guys. Maybe I'll do an update video with some badges that you guys use. And I'll give you guys your credit as well. But um, yeah, that's it. And uh, also. And here comes Middleton. Middleton driving with Ellington. Bam! Caught it! <laughs> he caught it! Last chance I get to make sure that you take it personally Take the shit the hardest, always executed perfectly If we do a song, it's like taking my kids to work with me You overnight celebrity, you one day star I Swear I told you that I'm in this bitch for eternity I am a reflection of all of your insecurities Behind closed doors, a lot of six God worshiping Done talk now, cause there's other shit that's concerning me